Hey, you're welcome to Chemistry Class Notes. My name is Philip, and um, today, like I said, we're going to be answering some questions under separation techniques. And the questions today, about 10 or 11 questions, they are going to be past jam questions. You can see the year under each of the questions. I'll put the year. So the first question now goes to us. Sieving is a technique used to separate mixture containing solid particles of we have small sizes, large sizes, different sizes, same sizes. Because the answer has to be different sizes. Uh, second video we talked about sieving. It is for separating you know, particles of uh, different sizes, so that uh, the ones that are smaller than the you know the whole of the sieve passes through. The one that is larger is retained in the sieve, so it's used for separating particles of different sizes. Then the next question: When a solid substance disappear completely as a gas on heating the substance is said to have undergone the answer is sublimation we know that sublimation is a change of state from solid to gas without passing through the liquid phase then the next question the other in which a mixture of sand, ammonium chloride, and sodium chloride can be separated is all right. We have dissolution, dryness, filtration, evaporation. We have filtration, sublimation, evaporation, dryness. We have sublimation, dissolution, filtration, evaporation. Then the last option, none of the above. Well, from here, looking that we have sand, ammonium chloride, and sodium chloride, we know that ammonium chloride sublimes. The first step is to heat this mixture, and ammonium chloride, you know, is vaporized and is, you know, collected as the solid in the um, upper part of the funnel. And so the first step has to be sublimation. Then after that, you are left with sand and sodium chloride. You have to dissolve in um, water. When you dissolve in water, you notice that sodium chloride dissolves. And when you filter, the sodium, the sodium chloride passes through the filter paper, leaving behind the sand on the filter paper. So you have sublimation, dissolution, filtration, then Evaporation is to you know get the sodium chloride. So the answer is C. Chlorophyll is chlorophyll obtained from living leaves of plants can be shown to be composed of more than one colored component by the technique of lab crystallization, hydrolysis, chromatography, sublimation. The answer is chromatography. Mostly, chromatography is used for separating colored substances. Either the component of you know the component in dyes you know, or leaves. That is what Chromography is mainly used for separating color substances, and so the answer is chromatography. Then the next question: Which of these require crystallization most? Drug making, paint making, cement making, perfume making. You know the answer has to be drug making. You know because crystallization is used in you know in pharmaceutical industry. Especially making their drugs. You know, drugs are prepared in nice state of um, purity. 
because since it's going to be consumed you know you have to make sure that it's free of um, um, impurities and so the answer is drug making then the next question the principle of colon chromatography is based on the ability of the constituent to react, move at different speed in the colon, dissolve in each other, react with the solvent, react with each other. The answer is A, move at different speed in the colon. It is because you know the constituent you know move at different speed. That is why they can be separated. We know that in chromatography, like I've said in the earlier um, video, there are two phases at play. You have mobile phase and stationary phase. And it is because of the you know, interactions of these various components to the mobile phase and stationary phase that you know, makes them to move at different speed in the column. And so the answer is A. Technique is, is suitable for separating the parent solution of potassium chloride and potassium triazochloride. We have evaporation, fractional crystallization, filtration, fractional distillation. The answer, um, the answer is um, fractional crystallization. Just like I said in my earlier video, you know is used for you know separating um, um, compounds that are they are soluble you know that that they are separated based on their difference in their solubility at different temperature so it is because these two compounds because they are soluble and they are they dissolve at they are soluble at different temperature that makes fractional crystallization a technique for separating potassium chloride and potassium triazochloride. It is not evaporation or filtration or fractional distillation. It is fractional crystallization. And the next question. Sugar is separated from its impurities by once again the answer is crystallization because it's used to purify sugar or like the other question drugs you don't want to, you don't want any impurities in some of these compounds and so they use um, crystallization to remove the impurities. So the answer is B. The next question. A mixture of petrol and water can be separated through gas centrifuge distillation separating for the water paper. First, the answer is you know separating for the you know, separating for the is used for separating you know liquids you know that no mix, for example, petrol and water. And also due, due to the fact that they have um, different density. So the answer is separating for the then the next question pure solvents are obtained by distillation, condensation, extraction, evaporation. The answer is distillation. You know distillation is you know involves hitting a substance you know, and condensing the vapor to you know collect the pure substance for example distilled water this water is you know pure water free from um, impurities and after that you notice that the impurities will be left in the flask so the answer is distillation so the last question, a mixture of sugar and sulfur can be separated by A. Dissolution of water 
evaporation, filtration, B, filtration, evaporation, dissolution in water, C, dissolution in water, filtration, and evaporation, then D, dissolution in water and filtration. You know that, um, of course, sulfur is insoluble in water, while sugar is soluble in water. So the first thing here is to dissolve in water. The sugar dissolves, the way you filter, of course, the sugar passes through the filter paper while sulfur remains on the filter paper. Then after that, you cannot heat, you know, the sugar solution in order to obtain the sugar. So the answer, the option, the correct um, option would be um, C. Dissolution of water, filtration, and evaporation. All right. So those are the. That is the end of the video. And um, remember, these are jam questions. Past, you know, jam questions. Different years on separation of, you know, mixtures. So if you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, we're going to go into another topic. Bye.